everybody thanks to all my viewers thanks to my subscribers and thanks to all the few there that are sharing my video may the lord richly bless you don't fail to comment don't fail to subscribe and don't fail to share my video as you do so god richly bless you i want to use this opportunity to say thank you to all of you that make a comment that send me beautiful and fine comments and i also want to appreciate those of you that ask some questions out of those questions we will be dealing with one of the topics because more than three people raise the same question then i felt there is a need to discuss or to talk about it because there might be one or two persons that have similar question in their mind that they need answer to it and i also want to remind you don't fail to subscribe don't fail to share my video don't fail to comment most importantly your comment is very important good or bad put it there it will help because this platform is awareness is to educate ourselves is to bring understanding i learn from you you learn from me it's happy each other your comment is very important and the question that some of you asked there that i will be talking about today the question goes like this he said can love fix every issue when when you say issue challenges problem name it name it he said can love fix all of them I know where the question is coming from my last video was mainly on does my spouse or is it because my spouse does not love me or he or she is not in love with me that brought infidelity in my marriage my question was of two ways my one was when you follow the standard of God which is the basic foundation of all marriage that every marriage should look onto is no that is infidelity in marriage is bad for that period or for that time that act took place your spouse was no longer in love with you i think that is the answer you know try to justify it try to like i have to answer i said okay depends on where the man was raised how he was raised and what he believed but when we follow the standard of god when we follow the the word of god because from the from genesis or from the the time of creation when god instituted marriage marriage is held in a honorable way leave bed on the fire that is the word of god which is yea and amen which settles every issue concerning infidelity in marriage yes we understand some people we are brought up in a polygamous home we understand until today some people are still practicing it but my answer is no when i say no i mean no to infidelity in marriage yes that your spouse or your partner was no longer in love with you when that act took place 
and I believe that is where this question come up because in my past video I make it clear there that with love and forgiveness there is nothing that cannot be fixed no challenge that cannot be fixed in marriage I believe that is where this question come up and my simple answer to this question can love fix every issue in marriage is my answer is no not every issue or not every challenges in marriage love can fix there are there are issues that need extra hands and those issues and those points is where I will be focusing today one of it is adultery addition abuse arguing arguments meta hates when he come to adultery when he come to addition when he come to abuse and when he come to arguing and meta hates love alone cannot fix all this when all these challenges come up in marriage love alone cannot put this right or love alone cannot face all these issues when they arise in a marriage then let's look into adultery rather infidelity you know when when dealing with infidelity there in marriage there are things we have to understand it is good to be honest. Honesty is very important when dealing with infidelity in marriage. That honesty is know exactly what the problem is. How do you know when the what the problem is? When infidelity comes up in marriage. One, who is your spouse? Where did he grow up? Is he from a polygamous home? The friend he keep, the friend he or she keeps, the company he keeps, he ways of life. These are the things you have to put in mind, and these are the things that you have to first of all understand. When you got to understand all this, before you will be able to conclude, or before you will be able to deal with infidelity in marriage, because there are some people that said because of infidelity in my marriage they quit some run into fire some run from fry pan to fire some in the process of trying to look for the best in the process of trying to look for peace some miss it some lose their life some in metal heads some could not even come out of that shock so before you take a decision concerning infidelity in marriage you will first of all when he comes to infidelity in marriage, there are some areas that need love to deal with, but there are some infidelity in marriage that you cannot handle. Ma uh, love alone cannot handle it. One, a man that comes from a polygamous home, a man that grown up with polygamous spirits, love alone cannot make this correction. You have to go extra mile. And before you go extra mile, you will first of all understand this person, this my spouse, is he actually in love with me? There are different types of love. Is he actually in love with me? Is this that the way he was brought up? Or is it what they do in his hometown? No, these are things you have to understand. And these are things that you or you yourself have to know before you enter into any marriage. If you are marrying a man that believes a, 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 a man can marry more than one wife, the man can be disciplined and say, okay, I don't want to marry two wives. It's not stopping him not to have a fear aside. 
These are things you have to know before you go into marriage. And when this man is committing that infidelity, it's not necessary that he's not in love with you. Seriously, he is in love with you. But the truth is that this is how he was brought up. And this is what he knows. And this is what he believes. It takes personal decision to come out of this act. And when you have a man or you have a spouse that have this condition in his heart and you say because he cheats on you or because of infidelity, you quit the marriage. Mm. Something. We went wrong somehow. Because actually this spouse is in love. He loves you. He cherishes you. He does everything to make you feel that he's in love with you. He do everything to make her feel that she is in love with you. But because of where, how and where he was, how and where he brought up, he was brought up and what he believes, it does not mean that he does, he is not in love with you. Quitting such marriage might be very dangerous. And when he comes to this, before you enter into marriage, it's a thing you have to deal with. It's a thing you have to make up your mind. It's a thing you have to value it. Can I handle this when I eventually enter his hand or her hand? Because the, the problem most of us have is that even when we see the truth from the beginning, we believe or we intend that, oh, I can change him or her. You can't change anybody. It's only the spirit of God. It's only God himself that can change. Percy. Then another, another one is, yes, there is infidelity that takes place in marriage. He, when the man, the man or the, the spouse is not in love. He's no longer in love. He's do, he has done everything to make the partner or to make the spouse go, but he's not going. He feel that all oh, she or she know that oh, she my spouse is in love with me. There is no way he or she is going to leave me. Then she will do some nonsense, stupid things to make the spouse to leave. When you have issues like this, love is not going to fix it. Somebody that is no longer in love with you. Somebody that is looking for a way to quit. Somebody that is looking for a way to tell you to go. He has said it so many times. You go, go. I don't want you. The marriage is over. But because of one of the spies is, is madly in love. Then going is difficult. Then the other spies start cheating. Can love fix that? Love cannot fix that. Then another set of another set of spies there are those that are manipulating. They know actually they are not in love with their partner. They are not in love with their spouse. But because of what they are gaining, because of what they are using that their spouse to 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 the, what they want to achieve, their spouse is is just there, but they are having their life aside. Love can fix that. It's a thing you have to understand. You have to know what is wrong. You have to know the level of this infidelity. You have to know the angle where he's coming from. If it just that this is a habit from my spouse, it's a thing that needs to be faced. He come up with honesty. And you can actually see from, from him or her that, oh, it's a thing that needs to be dealt with. Then you need prayers. You need deliverance. And another thing is, men feel they have the rights. It's very rare to see women. Those days, it's very, I've said it before in my last video, that committing Adultery, when you come to infidelity in women's side in a marriage, is a taboo, even not to now. It's taboo. It's just that in this generation, they cease to like 
he's not he doesn't matter he doesn't mean anymore but when you still value yourself you value your marriage you value your vow he's still a taboo he's not good it's not a thing to think of a married couple betraying your vow your promise be ye man be ye woman is the same vow that bound you that bound the man not only the women alone like where i come from it's a taboo for a woman in a husband house to go out aside his marriage or cheat on her husband it's forbidden but that doesn't mean it's only the women that law is binding it's binding the man and the woman but the men it tend to push him more on the women they tend to push him more on the women is the two sides and that is why you see there is so much challenges there is so much trauma in the society today the women want to fight back everybody is standing on his or her rights mostly women want to fight back this infidelity has been for a very long time but it's just that in this generation women are saying no they want to fight back that is why it's becoming an issue today in the society it's not only women that this law is binding. It binds the two, both the man and the woman. Because when they went to the altar to say, I do, it's not only the woman that is saying, oh yes, I accept to marry you. No. When we, started, when we look at it from the Garden of Eden, when a woman was formed, and when they brought it to Adam, Adam said, this is the bone of my bone, the flesh of my flesh. So is both the man and the woman so when he comes when infidelity comes in this ways love alone cannot solve it a man that believes marrying one wife is nothing wrong with it what do you need you need either counseling you need prayers you need deliverance to take him out of that belief then another one is domestic abuse that is let's say abuse in abuse you have domestic abuse you have emotional abuse you have sexual abuse you have financial or mentally ab material abuse you have modern slavery when we talk of domestic abuse a man or a spy that is beating up raising up his hand to hit has spy is it love that can correct that that is that act is an act of animal first of all you have to check if that spy is mentally balanced there is no reasonable spy that we raise no matter the argument no matter the offense that we raise his or her hand or her partner First of all, check the meta heads. Check the meta balance. When he comes to any abuse, abusing your spine, you have whether it's domestic, whether it's emotion, whether it's uh, sexual, whether it's financial or material or modern slavery, you have to check if your spine is mentally balanced. Then the other another one is addition. Love alone cannot save somebody that is addicted to whatever. It can be drug. It can be anything, anything, anything that is a challenge in your marriage that your spouse is addicted to and it's a big challenge in your marriage. It can be anything. Addition, it can be anything. And he's tearing your home apart. And is bringing a big problem in your home. 
love alone cannot solve that. You need extra hands. Then another one is meta heads. Today, meta heads, we, we used to believe meta heads are those people that, uh, that go naked or that are in meta home. No. There are so many ways that meta head manifests in our generation these days. When you have a spa that have meta heads, stress can bring stress. When your spa is stressed, when somebody is stressed, it can lead to meta heads. It's there are people that don't know how to express themselves. There are people that when they have challenge, when they have personal challenge, they don't know how to express it. They don't know how to go about it. But they, it will be affected them within. It will be affected their mental health. And everything they do in the home, it will be reflecting. Then you will think, oh, if you are this part that is not careful, you don't care about your partner. You won't know what your partner is going through. You will think, oh, it is because he is not in love with me. There are some things that will be happening that you have to look into it. You have to be very, you know, you have to look into it. Follow it up and see what is wrong. And when things like this is happening in your home, love alone cannot solve it. You need extra hands. You need extra work. You need counseling. You need prayer. You need people to help you. You need friends. When I say friends, not just ordinary friends. Trusted friends that can help you. But the best way to deal with this is Christ. Knowing the roots. Going to the source. Following up with prayers. Following up with counseling. But in most cases, even when our spouses are going through tumor, many of us does not understand. We conclude, oh no, it's no more in love with me. Oh no, I don't want to be there. Oh no, they quit. It's not everything is all about marrying. There are times we need extra care. At times we need extra help, extra hand to resolve some issue, some challenges in our marriage we need some extra help we need counseling we need people that have been there before people that will look into your eyes and tell you the truth people that will tell you the truth without trying to bend it you know these days there are a set of people out there although I don't blame them because 99% of people out there don't want to hear the truth. Some just want to hear and believe what they want to believe. Not everything love alone can solve. No. There are some issues. There are some challenges that need counseling. There are some challenges that need friends to help you out. There are some challenges that you need prayer. You need fasting. You need deliverance. To come out of it. But as I stand my ground as a child of God. Facing different challenges in marriage. Quit, quitting your marriage is not the best option. Or it's not the best answer. Apart from when your life is in danger. That is merely when it evolves violence. Because anything can happen when violence is involved anything can happen god forbid he hits you where he's not supposed to hit you when one of you pass away what will be the end the other person's life is already condemned for the other person's life to be destroyed instead of destroying two life i think you have to be wise in that area when he evolve domestic violence hitting you beating you that alone you need wisdom you need more counseling on that 
But apart from that, although there are still some torment, there are still some emotional abuse in marriage that is even worse than hitting you. Those can be easily be dealt with when you know the source. When you have a spy that is addicted, there are many ways to treat an addiction. There are many ways to go about it. And all boy down to the person per se. Is he ready to change? Is he ready to make a new ways? These are the things you have to put in place. Another one is arguing. There are some spouse there before he, he, he partner even says something, he have already know what he or she want to say. He turn it down. Arguments. Everything your partner is saying, your spouse is saying, does not make sense. Why? Because there is somebody out there that is making sense for him or her. When he come to this, love cannot solve it. How are you going to solve? How love is going to work there? Before you call, he's already annoyed. I know so many cases. I once have that experience. I have that experience. Before you even make a call, see the face. You will swallow everything you want to say. All this love alone cannot solve it. When you have all this issue, when you have all this problem, all these challenges in your marriage, love alone cannot solve it. You need extra help. You need counseling. You need help from friends, trusted ones. You need prayers. You need deliverance. That is why even in the body of Christ today, we find out, we find all these things there. These are things that we need extra care to handle, not only love. We need extra help to solve them out. I'm going to end it here today. If you have your question, if you disagree with me, put your comment there. If you have more answer more than what I've just said now, write it on the comment section. Or if you have something you want to contribute for other people to benefit, don't fail to comment. Put it down there. People will benefit from it. Thanks to all of you. God bless you as you listen. See you in my next video. Remain blessed in Jesus' name.